Hello, my legion of little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon, and welcome to my Sunday night vlog. So, I'm playing Lord of the Rings Online as per usual. Head into. Oh, wait, I don't need to head in here yet. And. Happy, happy, happy Halloween to everyone! I hope you all are having a spooktastic Halloween so, so far, or are, or had a spooktastic Halloween. So, this has been a most stressful month. Just in general, just stress and pain. There's been cold showers. There's been way, way too much soup. There's been anxiety, there's been stress, and then there's been scrambling to just hold together for a little while longer. And all I have to do is get through this fucking, through this fucking day. So, yeah. So we have finished. I am at your service. Welcome. You have come at a most fortuitous time. I would be grateful for your assistance. Um, I'm just losing track of all of my words. So we are done with the path. I could ideally do more at a later date, maybe. But for now, I'm done. I'm still I'm still sour that I didn't get that last flower. I just had one fucking flower. But I'm worried that if I, you know, try and play the game again... I might not- I'll probably have to start all over again trying to find everything and find the last flower. I'm especially worried if I have to find it in that lap find 143 44 flowers all over again. But if not, I will- I will try and see if there's like a super special secret scene that I get for getting ev finding everything and and getting all those flowers because I actually have heard that if you get all of the Z flowers there's like some sort of special secret that you can get. But for now, we will be moving on to Portal 2. As for Oblivion, we are going to continue with the... with the Fighter's Guild quest line. I don't expect to be in... The, to be doing the Fighters Guild for more than a few more days beyond this week. But then again, I was never big on the Fighters Guild quest line. So we will just have to see what happens there. But with the final Fighters Guild episode, I am going to go to that castle that's West of Coral? Like, what is it? Battlehorn Castle or something? I'm not entirely sure. So, with all that out of the way, I'm gonna talk to you guys about when I... The, about one of the nights that... About some of the nights that I volunteered at a haunted attraction called the Train of Terror. 
basically it's like 45 minutes long and a bunch of people are just crammed onto a, a fenced up bot train car there, there was like two of them actually I think and it would go one way up the tracks and then come back down and at the end of the tracks you would switch sides so that you could see what was on one side and the people that were on that side could see the other side the side you came from if that makes any sense and on both sides there were just like of the tracks there were like these open spaces where people had set up like ca little camps where they set up their their little scenarios and the one I had and the group that I was in was Mortal Kombat versus Zombies and I was one of the zombies and we would just go at the at the people dressed up as Mortal Kombat characters and they would just you know knock us to the ground and one of my friends, and my friend who brought me to this th to this haunt, it was my friend Seth from high school, and he had a genius idea. Few layers of clothes were required for this ridiculous idea, but it was so freaking awesome. So he bought a jean jacket from a store called Farm and Fleet and they actually sell really sturdy clothes. So I'm pretty sure he still has the jacket too. Then there was some sort of flammable fluid, I don't, spray can fluid. I think it was something that you use on your car engine or something. A lighter and a fire extinguisher. Yeah, you can see where this is going. He tested it out oh, beforehand, and, and the flames go out really, just go out really easy. You can just brush your hand over it and you and quickly smother the flames. The fire extinguisher was kept for emergencies only. So he would set himself on fire and rush at, it, at the Mortal Kombat characters, screaming like a nut job on fire. And then they would just knock him onto his back again, and then, and the flames would just be smothered out. Well, one night, my, my, some of the, some of the other people at this, at our camp, decided to try it out for ourselves. I am at your service. And of course, I being a big hoodie wearer had, didn't really feel the heat of it. My mom does not relish the thought of that I did that. Mm, just then. So I put the jacket on over my hoodie, make sure my hood is up because, you know, I was always a long haired person. I really liked having long hair. And then I got the spray on, my, on the jacket, got set on fire, rushed in screaming, and got on my back and the flames were smothered out. It was, and your service and your families. It, it was good times. And it was fun. And I I wish I could do more of that sort of thing again. Go volunteer or work at like a haunted attraction. Of what help may I be to you? But, you know, it's I haven't really had the chance. To, you know, get in contact with, with a haunt. Speaking of haunts, 
I did volunteer in hi- my senior year of high school. I did volunteer for another haunt called the Haunted Barn, which was outside of a neighboring city. And they didn't really know. So I don't. For some reason, the people who were running the Haunted Barn weren't really expecting a group of teens to come help out. Because, you know, they had, like, a lot of people there already. So they didn't quite know where to put us. Well, I got assigned to, like, this one corner at the... Down a hallway with someone else. And the girl was just that was already there was just like, um, okay, okay, uh... Okay, I'll do this first. You go in... You go hide in this room... It wasn't really a room, it was like this platform that was like, where you could see over this maze. And, you know, it was dark, no one would see you, blah blah blah. So, I go and hide in this room, this on the platform, while the other person stood outside scaring people, and then we would switch. I came to find that I didn't quite want to switch. So what happened was is that as I'm watching people move through this maze, I see this strain and I go, what does this do? I probably, I know what you're thinking, don't pull the string, don't pull the string. I pulled the string and I found that there was a, like a little ghost decorate, it controlled the ghost decoration. And at one corner in the maze. And as I pull it, I'm pulling the ghost up. And then I saw people coming and was just like, oh, I have an idea. I would drop the ghost in front of them and it would scare them naturally. And, you know, it was good for a few laughs. So I just started controlling this ghost, pulling it up by the str- with the string and dropping it in front of people and again I think some of you know where this one is going so there was a group of girls coming around I naturally pulled the ghost up and just waited and I mistimed the drop I let go of that stream And the ghost ended up falling on one girl's head. And of course, she's thrashing and screaming. (laughs) I almost feel bad, but then, and I remember... Wait, they came to a haunted, to this haunted barn. What were you expecting? I will admit I did try to recreate that timing, but... I didn't get really any more scares beyond the, beyond people to, I didn't really end up dropping it on other people. So then the girl comes in, eventually comes into which places and I tell her about this ghost in the stream. I don't know if she did anything about it, but I was pretty eager to get back to it. I don't think I really scared anyone when I was hiding at that one corner in the hallway. Well, those are all my haunted, my haunt stories. Have you ever volunteered at a haunt? And and do you have any funny stories? Put them down in the comments. I want to read them. And I might do like a comment reading someday. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Will you help me? If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that stupid notification bell for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!